Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Provide fertility or cause barrenness Indeed, I don't fertility, successful or otherwise. Therefore, Nabarika had to be pleased. Kalesa was regarded as being very important, mainly with respect to hunting. Since hunting was a cherished occupation among the Bakanjo, one can tell the power and importance of Kalisa too. On the southern eastern slopes of Ronzori Mountain, the Bakanjo used to construct shrines dedicated to Kalisa and Nabarika. Such shrines would be made of bamboo shoes zones of the Nyamagasani and the Nyamagasani Bujuko Valleys. The shrines were huts built in pairs. The larger huts were slightly over one meter high. A food offering of matuk or chicken was placed on the stakes between the two huts. Hunting was a very important activity among the Bakanjo. Although it was enjoyed as sport, more importantly, it was a source of food. Skilled hunters occupied a place of importance in the society. The main instrumentic policies favoring nomic comic policy podcasts and robs. So farms are being pushed further and higher into the mountain foothills. Because of this, there is an increasing potential for soil erosion and environmental damage caused by people's pressure on the land. The Bakanjo, Bamba usually marry early with girls at about or years of age. Circumcision among the Bakanzo is a deeply ingrained cultural practice akin to the Bajusu's Invalu ceremony. Unlike the Bakanzo perform circumcised, an Oevlogi of life were held in Bundabijo, performed by Bamba tribesmen. However, since anyone with the expertise can perform circumcision, be it at the hospital or by a family member, hunting was done on a small as well as large scale. Hunters included trappers who operated as individuals. The troops consist of as many as 30 to 60 people. There were rules and regulations concerning the conduct of the hunting expedition and the shenan the shenan and shenan off on a hunting trip. Supplications and sacrifices were offered to Kalisa and Nabalika for the success of the hunting expedition. If the expedition was successful, some pieces of meat were left at the slaughtering place. A small fence of bamboo stakes was constructed across the hunting path to bar any angry spirits from following the hunting party. Should a person use the path, he would cast a handful of green leaves over bamboo stavering to below him, whistling him, pushed further and higher into the mountain foothills. Because of this, there is an increasing potential for soil erosion and environmental damage caused by people's pressure on the land. With an expanding population, recent economic policies 
favoring stability have taken hold, pushing farms further and higher into the mountain foothills. This shift poses an increasing risk of soil erosion and environmental damage due to the growing pressure on the land. The Pakanjos from uh, Agricultural practices have evolved over time. With the cultivation of staple crops like matoke, yams, potatoes, cassava, and beans forming the backbone of their sustenance. As the community grew, they diversified their agricultural pursuits, embracing the cultivation of cash crops such as coffee and cotton. This shift not only reflected changing economic dynamics, but also underscored their agamic interactions with Nairikis, pursuits of the Kanjo, engage in animal husbandry, rearing goats, sheep, and fowls. This diversified approach to livelihoods not only provides a more comprehensive food supply, but also contributes to the economic resilience of the community. The intricate balance between agriculture and animal husbandry showcases the resourcefulness of the Bakanjo and navigating the challenges of their identity. But primarily a vital source of food against city. skilled hunters occupying esteemed positions are indicative of the importance placed on hunting prowess. The use of various instruments, including spears, hunting nets, bows and arrows, and ropes, underscores the resourcefulness and adaptability of the Bakanjo in utilizing their natural surroundings. Organized hunting troops, consisting of up to 30 to 60 people, highlight the communal aspect of Bakanjo society. Supplications and sacrifices to Kalesa and Nabalika before a hunting expedition underscores the spiritual connection between the Bakanjo and their environment. The construction of bamboo stakes to ward off angry spirits further exemplifies the synthesis of tradition and practicality in their hunting rituals. The Bakanjo's unique system of secret communication through whistling, passed down from father to son, as an activity peculiar to the little to convey messages across considerable distances. The exclusivity of this communication method within the community showcases the preservation of distinct cultural practices that set the Bakanjo apart from neighboring groups. As the Bakanjo embrace modernization and education, alongside changing societal norms and external factors, undergoing troas of ceremony. The resilient silence ceremony, the silence ceremony, among the Bakanjo, reflects the complex interplay between preserving cultural heritage and adapting to the evolving dynamics of the world around them. In essence, the Bakanjo people's way of life is a tapestry woven with threads of agriculture, animal husbandry, hunting traditions, and unique communication methods.